Tonight, on the Simmer City Reunion, all of the girls have gathered here to dish out their dirt on their time in Del Sol Valley. Season one of Simmer City had the fans going nuts, and now's the chance for the girls to set the record straight. I'm not even in a mood to set eyes on these bitches tonight, because I'm down for whatever. I'm just here for a check. I could care less about any of these ghetto bitches. Desiree, you're a f-ing hypocrite, and I suggest you watch yourself when we get on that stage. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Aisha Hollis, and I'm your host for the first ever Simmer City Reunion. You already know the shit is about to get real tonight. But without further ado, allow me to introduce you to the last five girls that made it to the end. Yvonne, Tiffany, Nikki, Susie, and Desiree. Welcome. You girls look amazing. Hold up. You girls look better than me. (laughs) Okay, let me find out. Thank you, Aisha. Some of us don't have to work hard to look this good. I know that's right. Speaking of looks, did you change your hair? I did, actually. I feel like I needed a new look. Well, it looks great. But then again, you always look good. So there's that. Thank you. So let's just dive right into it. The fans have a lot of questions, and I want to make sure I get those answered to the best of my ability. So with that being said, the show started with seven girls, and then from there, girls were dropping like crazy. There was some instigation, manipulation, and of course, many, many bitch fights. How does it feel for you guys to have made it to the end? Like that bitch, to be honest. I think it takes a lot of patience to make it to the end. It definitely increased my tolerance for bullshit. Oh, that's very true. But I'm surprised to hear you say that, Susie. Especially since you weren't patient with Eva A when she clearly crossed the line with your kids. Yeah, no, it definitely wasn't there. Those are my babies, so she deserved that shit. And you're still a whore of a mom, so I guess nothing has changed. I'm all evened out. I'm not gonna argue with a fake, instigating ass bitch. It's funny that you say that, because as much as I hate to say it, Evene ran that mother house. I mean, seriously, she did a lot of them shit, but at the end of the day, I must admit that if it wasn't for Eva Nay, we might not have a show, people. I'm just saying. Desiree, now knowing all of the things Eva Nay did, why were you so loyal to her? Because I know I damn sure wouldn't be. I mean, I really didn't think she was like that, you know. After she apologized, I thought that was real, but then after watching the show... I noticed she was never really my friend. She was honestly just a bitch. Desiree, if it weren't for me, you wouldn't last a day in that house. But okay. I mean, we tried to tell her, but of course, she didn't listen. Oh, the same way she didn't listen when it came to Dre? Desiree, you shocked everyone when you made it known that you were a walking believer of Christ and then turned around to do unholy things like hooking up with a total stranger like Dre... I mean, for crying out loud, we all thought you were a virgin. Wow. I mean, of course I'm not proud of some of the things that I did on TV, but I never once said I was a virgin. You sure acted like one. Then she got all butthurt when he ghosted her. Sucks to suck. Okay, well, I'm seeing someone new now, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, shit. Good for you. I mean, the girls practically gave you a makeover, but I'm glad you're on to better things. Thank you. I appreciate that. Speaking of someone new... I know that while on the show, you went through a breakup. How was that? I know that must have been hard. Would you say that that contributed to the hot girl summer you had on the show? (laughs) I mean, I'm not going to lie. It did. To find out that my ex at the time was cheating, especially since I was waiting till marriage with him, was upsetting. So I just stopped caring and was like, f*** him. Do you think Susie and Nikki influenced that side of you? Don't do that. She was heartbroken. Yeah, she needed to move on. (laughs) Y'all are just some hoes. Stop it. Mm, Honestly, I would say no. I feel like it was always in me. It was just suppressed because I was trying to be something that my family wanted me to be. Yeah, 
I can see that. But before we dive any further, let's go ahead and take a look at Desiree's wild roller coaster of events. Do this anymore. No, Devon. You do not get to do this to me right now. If you didn't get caught, then what would you have done? Desiree. No, f you, Devon. I just can't believe him. Honestly, f him. If he wants to f some chick, then he never loved you. I can't believe him. The only way to get over an ex is to get with someone else. But I don't drink. Well, today you do. Just trust me, you won't die. But I'm hey, bartender, let me get six shots of Patron. You said a drink. Well, I lied. You'll be fine. <laughs> Well, lately he hasn't been answering my calls or my texts. You're not serious. Yeah, it's like every time I call him, it just goes straight to voicemail. Oh my gosh, Dez. He definitely ghosted you. What? No way. The fact that Desiree couldn't see through Dre's bullshit is crazy to me. It's so not cute to be an easy target, sweetie. Get it together. <laughs> So Desiree, let me ask you this. Did your family see the show? Um, some of them did, yeah. How did your family respond to that? They were definitely in shock, you know? I mean, they never really saw me act like that before, so definitely came as a shock. Um, some of them aren't even speaking to me right now, but I think they'll come around with time. You sure about that? You know these Black Christians are real different. If they end up speaking to me, then great. But if they don't, then it is what it is. I hear that. Family can be very messy at times. Well, I personally feel like this experience has made you stronger and more mature to deal with a lot of life situations. It really did. I appreciate it, honestly. Now, although I see growth now, I must say I didn't see it while you were on the show. I feel like you took Christianity to a whole new level when you criticized Chris for being gay. At this point, Chris could do whatever she wants. I'm over that. Like I said, I did a lot of shit that I was not proud of, and I can't take any of it back. And honestly, I don't want to take any of it back. It is what it is. You got to go through dumb shit to grow sometimes. And you guys want to talk about me being an instigator? Meanwhile, Desiree was super messy as well. Oh, I guess messy hoes flock together then. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm joking, y'all. But speaking of Chris, let's take a look back at her and Desiree's unnecessary feud. So much for having class, Chris. <laughs> Don't be mad. You'll get your turn. Chris makes me so uncomfortable, and I honestly don't like her. I don't care if it's 2020, so what? I don't like her, and I don't like her lifestyle. At this point, I just think she's a predator. So I get back to the house not only to see random people, but also to find Chris and even A in the pool together. This is not okay. I just want to let you know that I prayed for you and I don't agree with your lifestyle. Bro, what? You prayed for me? My lifestyle? Yes, what you're doing is wrong and I won't let you infect even A with your nonsense. I mean, your lifestyle. Bitch, are you dead ass? Bruh, I did not expect this shit. This bitch is so dumb. Like, how you call yourself a Christian and you out here acting wild? Why do you even care about what I'm doing? Worry about yourself. You worried about protecting even A when she don't even f with you like that. You want to eat her p or something? You're a predator, bitch. Bro. Okay, you need to relax. See? I will f you up, Desiree. You don't know what the f you're messing with. You're gonna regret throwing that shit at me. God don't like ugly. Enjoy your time in hell, bitch, and I'm gonna send you some holy water too because you're gonna need it. As we all know, things weren't always peachy in the Simmer City house. These bitches were conniving, sneaky, and hella fake. But with that being said, let's give a warm welcome to the girl that's always cracking people up. Chris, come on out. <laughs>
Oh, it's good to see you again, Chris. How are you? I'm good. I've been better, you know. Oh, Desiree, you have something you want to say? I see you rolling your eyes. No, I ain't got nothing to say. I mean, I'm just asking. Because you did say you were over everything. All the bitch does is lie. So take what she says with a grain of salt. But did she ask you? No, no one asked you the anything. The bitch is a liar. So shut the f*** up. A snitch up. and a fake-ass Christian. The like, bitch, why are you even talking no right now? Christian. Already starting shit and no one asked you anything. I can do whatever the f*** I want, bitch. I'll punch you dead in your f***ing Bitch, mouth. shut Stop up. Just because you dress like a dude don't mean shit. You talk all that shit, but you still got dragged by your girlfriend. Oh. Damn. Stop talking all that shit if you can't back nothing up. The period. only one mad is you. Your hits barely connected, boo. You over here judging me, but you hooking up with random dudes on You're TV. You're so bothered you for no stupid, reason. Just bitch. sit down. Clap it up for Chris, y'all. She finally got her Ain't camera nobody time. nobody give a damn about no camera time. You probably wanted to taste even they so bad. I wouldn't be surprised if you was on the down low. Just you can believe whatever you want, all bitch. All right, all right, all right. That's it. Okay. Y'all good? Because I want to move on. Y'all already know we got more bitches on the way, so. <laughs> Hi, beautiful people. I know you all love the show, but if you love Summer City just as much as you love my Funny Fight remakes, be sure to follow me on TikTok at Petty Sim Productions and on Instagram at Randomini1. Don't ask me why it's not the same name. Who cares? Life goes on. Anywho, give your girl a follow. Also, if you have any suggestions on what fights to make next or what storyline you'd like to see for Simmer City, feel free to reach out by commenting or sending me a message. I appreciate the continued effort and support, especially from the ones who stayed on from the very beginning. Love y'all. And even a, you and Chris had a little fling. Like, what was that about? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, the people do want to know some tea because we were kind of rooting for y'all. I mean, Chris is very attractive to me and I don't know. We just kind of hit it off. <laughs> I mean, was it real though? Or was it another part of your master plan? I would say that there was some realness there. Like, yes, at the time she was the only one on my side and I wanted to keep it that way. But I actually did develop feelings for her. Well, I'm not going to lie. We were all here for it. But let's take a look at how things panned out. So you inviting people back now? Am I not allowed to? You could do whatever you want. As long as I'm invited. I mean, I don't consider myself gay and all, but Chris is very attractive. She's definitely interesting. So now you leaving too? Don't even worry about that. You need to wake up and start seeing that bitch for who she really is. At the end of the day, it's really nobody's business. What'd you do last night? Just went out with the girls. It was a pretty chill night. So that's why you didn't call me. What you mean? I meant what I just said. You didn't call me last night. So why didn't you? Yes, I do have a girlfriend. Shanice and I have been together for three years now. When I told her that I was coming on the show, she ain't take it really well. Listen, these girls told me she was at a hotel. Do you know who she'd be at a hotel with? Last I checked, she went to go check up on somebody, but I don't know. Nah, I ain't snitching. that. How are you feeling after everything? I mean, I'm just here at this point, but why are you here? I figured you needed company. I didn't like how the girls ran up on you like that. It makes a lot of sense why even they reacted the way she did. It doesn't make it right, but now I see things from her perspective when she said all of those things about Susie. With everything that's going on, I need Chris to be on my side. So I'll say anything to keep her real in. the vibe. 
Chris, how about you, player player? I mean, I like my girls a little feisty. So I was definitely feeling her. But it couldn't go any further than that. Because of your girlfriend? I mean... Let me ask you this. What happened with that? After she pulled up, you were just gone. No explanation, no nothing. Yeah, well, I mean... I told her to get the f*** off the show, period. Where the hell did you come from? Chris, are y'all still together? Yes, the f*** we are. I don't know what y'all thought this was, but she ain't going nowhere. That's really crazy. Excuse me? What'd you say? No one's talking to you, sweetheart. Okay, but now you are. First and foremost, bitch, now you you're are. talking from the audience. You want to be up here now so bad. Now you are, bitch. You think you could just f my girlfriend and flap your f mouth? Second of all, Chris never mentioned you, so to my knowledge, you didn't exist. Shut the f up Watch and your f sit down. mouth when you, you talk to me. You watch your f mouth when you're talking to I'm my not cousin. The one to be Girl, no one even knows who you are. Why are you even all here? All I hear is you running your mouth, but you're not doing shit. Then so run up, bitch. Down. I f the both of y'all up right now. I promise you're you. You're the one looking for a fight. So do what you gotta do. That's why I f your bitch and honestly I'll do it again. That's why I still f your bitch. That's why you got popped in the f mouth. You and your ugly ass. Bitch, go lose some weight bitches. and get yourself some good weed. I could give your broke bitch, ass this a hair discount. is all mine. I don't need weed. Bitch, your hair is thinning. You look like a dusty ass mop ho. What? Go back to the trenches, bitch. <laughs> wow, this is insane. Remove that dusty mop ass ho. <laughs> My goodness, Jesus Christ. That was a mess. You bitches are insane. I'm here for it, though. But can I just add that none of this would have happened if Desiree didn't snitch on Chris? Now, Desiree, why would you do that? I didn't f*** with Chris, and she deserved it. Plain and simple. Shut up, bitch. You gotta be the biggest cock-blocking, hating-ass bitch I've ever met. Oh, well, real. don't care. You already got your ass beat. Shut up. Next. Not gonna lie, Desiree. You do sound bitter, though. Like, it makes me wonder if you truly did have a thing for even a after all. Nah, I don't need to prove myself to anyone. I said what I said, and that's that. I mean, I guess. But either way, I'm glad security got that dusty mop head up out of here, because she was doing way too much. Well, someone had to take out the trash. No, seriously, thank God. Chris, you can't go nowhere without your girlfriend following you. I mean... <laughs> that sounds like a toxic-ass relationship to me. I mean, she did say she likes some feisty. Chris, if you're a toxic bitch, just say that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for Chris. If someone pays you $1 million to break up with your girlfriend and get with even a, would you do it? Not Nikki being messy. Wow, that's crazy. Answer, don't worry, your girlfriend isn't here anymore. Nah, I wouldn't. Girl, we all know you lying. We would still mess around though, for sure. <laughs> Look at Chris's face. She's not denying it, though. Oh, she's absolutely not. Chris, you're just a toxic bitch. You know what? Let's move on. And speaking of hookups, flings, and things, Susie, you got it on the most in the house. What's that about? I mean, since the beginning, I made it known that I was there for a good-ass time. Even if a man was taken, though? I mean, yeah. No shame in my game. I always get what I want, and bitches could call me a hoe, but, like, I don't care because, again, what's new? That's some city girl shit right there. Get that head, that bread, then leave. Period. Susie made it clear that she was going to get hers. So let's take a look. I mean... I get that you want to have a fun time and all, but like, calm the f down and stop being so desperate. She's so trashy. Oh, oh, oh. 
Is it just me or is Andre f hot? What the hell are you doing? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you wanted. No, I don't even move like that. You doing too much. To be honest, I'm not about to let Sammy or her little boy toy ruin my night. So I'm inviting Bay over. His name's not important. So. <laughs> Tiffany's boyfriend. Girl, you need to relax and find yourself a man right here and now. I can do that and still f*** a man if I wanted to. This house has a lot to offer. Sorry, Tiffany. I'm gonna borrow your man, but you can have him back later. What the f*** is this shit? Tiff, it's really Shut not. Shut the f*** up, Eli. Eli never even mentioned that you guys were together. What the hell, Susie? I'm so f***. I'm sick of your shit. Personally, I think that I just did Tiffany a huge favor. And the sex was amazing, so do I have any regrets? Absolutely not. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> so let's really get into the nitty gritty. What made you want to pursue Tiffany's man, Eli? I mean, he was hot. Yes, that he was. But you knew he was taken and that still didn't stop you? No, not at all. If anything, I helped Tiffany dodge a bullet. And that's another thing. Tiffany, although your time at the house was short due to you coming in as a replacement, why didn't you fight Susie? I'm genuinely interested because I would have beat her ass. <laughs> Just saying. I was so over Eli at that point and this wasn't the first time he pulled some bullshit. I was done arguing and fighting over bitches when he clearly was a problem. <gasps> oh, so this isn't the first time he's done something like this. No. <laughs> wow. And you let him embarrass you on TV. Why'd you invite him back to the house then? That's a really good question. I wanted him by my side. He started being the man I wanted him to be, so I thought things would have been different. But I was clearly wrong. And not only did he embarrass you... But he even had the audacity to bring his mama on the show with him? Like, can we talk about that? Because a bitch was appalled. Yeah, Eli's always been a mama's boy. It wasn't cute. And I never liked him for Tiffany. So glad she's finally done with him. Yeah, I don't know what was wrong with me. You were dramatized, and it's okay. It happens to the best of us. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> but his mother really drove me insane. Not only was I putting up with her childish ass son, but I was always going through unnecessary bullshit with her. I was never good enough for her son, so I slapped the shit out of her. I was so over it at that point that I didn't even care about Susie being a messy hoe. Eli clearly made his decision and his mother wouldn't stop harassing me. It was either punch Eli or his mom and I chose his mom. And I don't feel bad about it. The bitch had it coming. I hear you. And I can tell you that we were all shocked, girl. As a matter of fact, can we pull up the clip, please? Roll the tape. You stupid bitch! <laughs> Tiffany, what the f is wrong with you? How f dare you? You just crossed the fuck out. line, Tiffany. You're out of control. I don't give a f Your mom and your little ass to get the f out. Tiffany, I don't give a now, how mad you are. You are disgusting You're disrespectful. piece of shit. I never ever want to see you, you again. You just hit my mom. For someone who follows their son around, did you know that Eli was f***ing another Leave bitch, my Mrs. Grant? I'm out of this. Did you f***ing You know? need to calm the f*** You down. and your mother could f*** off. You just shut the f*** up. You are a little boy, a f***ing child that can't even make a decision without his own mother. But you sure did f*** Susie. If you weren't how such a bitch, you? then maybe I wouldn't have f***ed her. Have fun f***ing your son, Mrs. Grant, because we all know that you want to. Pathetic ass bitch. <laughs> I can't believe this bitch just slapped his mama. Ooh. Oh my God, it don't get no better than this.
<laughs> wow. You really slapped his mama. I sure did. Listen, you did what most women want to do. More power to you, girl. So, you're not with him anymore, right? Oh, God, no. You guys don't talk here and there, mess around, nothing? Nothing. He is completely out of my life, and he's blocked on everything. I even blocked his friends, family, all of that. He has zero access to me. Wow, it's that deep. It is that deep. I respect it. You are too good for him anyway, girl. You got your business going for you and all of that. F*** him. Nothing better than a boss woman getting what she wants and removing toxicity from her life. Speaking of boss women, we have two other baddies joining us tonight. During their time in Simmer City, they were a dynamic duo, riding for each other, fighting for each other, and having each other's backs in the most vulnerable times. Loved by fans, these girls definitely knew what it meant to be boss bitches. Please give it up for Kitty and Sammy. <laughs> Welcome, girls. You both look amazing, as usual. Thank you. Thanks, girl. Is it me, or did the air just get really tense? The birds are real quiet. That's Kitty, why. Kitty, shut up. What are you even Do saying? Do y'all hear something? It sound like a dumbass bird. Oh, even they was just talking to you. <laughs> Who's even they? I don't know who that is. Now the bitch has jokes. Tiffany. Because I don't have a problem with you, I'm going to address you and that's it. I'm done arguing with bitches I done already f***ed up. They don't exist to me. Shit, I hear that. It's the shade for Kitty, me. Kitty, you have a problem with Evene and that's having a problem with me. Period. Like I said, I never had a problem with you, but you just stuck your nose where the shit didn't belong. Well, Kitty, you and Evene haven't been on the best terms since day one. Let's talk about that. I just feel like I came in with good energy... I came ready to party, have a good time, and make friends, you know? But when she came, she was, like, stuck up as f Always walking around with a f attitude. And then made these rude-ass comments like she better than everybody. And I don't respect or f with people like that. I have no patience for it. So, no, I didn't f with her, and I still don't. Even they definitely thought that she was Regina But y'all were all buddy-buddy when Kitty left, so what are you saying, Susie? First of all, Sammy, you're the one that got all crazy over your friend, Andre. No, don't even try that because you were fake as f and now you want to pretend like you wasn't up even they's ass right after. Okay, but can we just talk about Andre, though? Let's talk about it. Because I came here to do more than talking. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Oh. I'm just saying, some people here really think they safe. Okay, so... Back to Andre. Susie, do you have any boundaries when it comes to hooking up with these men or no? Because you also try to hook up with Andre. No, I don't have any boundaries at all because if I see someone I want, then I'm going to get them, regardless if they're in a relationship. Because at the end of the day, I just want... I don't care about all that extra stuff and I'm not looking for a relationship, so I couldn't care less. Like I said, I could f him and you can have him back for And all that's I care. why... That bitch is a hoe. That right there. Hey guys, I know y'all love all things messy, but now you get to listen to me and my girlfriend Jessie talk our shit in our upcoming podcast called The Petty Headquarters. If you love Simmer City and all things reality TV, then this isn't something you want to miss. We're going to be spilling the tea from celebrity gossip, petty news, all the way to Zeus Network, aka Baddies, Bad Boys, Batty, Batty, Shot at Glock. Okay, you get the picture. So you can find us on my YouTube channel at Petty Sim Productions and you can listen in on Spotify at the Petty Headquarters. So tune in every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. for your weekly dose of mess. Now, Sammy, Andre confessed his love for you on the show and you weren't interested. So why were you so upset by Susie trying to flirt with him? Because Andre's like my brother and she doesn't even know him. She just needs to stop being a hoe. That same shit is what got her f***ed up on the first night. She has no boundaries. Like there are certain lines you just shouldn't cross. 
point blank. Well, like period. I said earlier, I don't care. I'm always gonna be me, and that's that. Susie, do you think you're setting a good example for your kids? And I don't mean that with any animosity. This is just what the people. Well, know. I think people should mind their business and how I decide to live my life my life and how i treat my kids as a mother are two different things those two don't ever collide and what if they grow up and see this someday by that time i'm sure they'll understand they'll be grown and for all i know they might be doing the same thing no one bats an eye when guys act like this but when i do it i'm suddenly a bad mother like seriously no one gives deadbeat dad shit and here you are giving me shit for literally living my You're life you just how a whole susie shut the fuck up we get it. The same way these are hoes, you're the exact same. You ain't shit. Moral of the story, people. Susie's a hoe. <laughs> Going back to the beef between you and Kitty, even A, why did you have such an issue with her? She was a likable person, so would you say it was jealousy? Absolutely not. So what was it? I just saw her as beneath me, like she's a stripper for crying out loud. Like you have no assets, no business, no nothing. She's like a hood rich bitch. At least I'm rich, bitch. And that's the shit I be talking about, bitch. Ain't nobody beneath you. You see what I mean? We just don't vibe. Bitch, it's because of you. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Girl, shut up. That's why you got jumped at your own damn party. Wow, now this? Bitch, all you do is talk a lot of shit, for real. You just f produce this for favors and talk shit. So stop. Wow. Don't hate the player. Hate the game, bitch. Now that you mention it, Kitty, you did think it was a good idea to bring the girls together for the holidays, which look lit, by the way. But it was rudely interrupted by a f brawl. Let's talk about that. Uh, what was that about? And who are those girls that jumped you? Broke ass bitches that don't even deserve a mention. Very true, but I can def say that we were all shocked to see that happen. It was so random and seemed like it was planned, to be honest. Those girls absolutely went in there with intention. Let's take a look. Basically, this all started over some dude. She claims I f***ed her man, but I don't even know him. The man was in my DMs, but now you got a problem with me? That's some childish, insecure ass shit. And then to bring her friends to jump you as well is corny in itself. Right? Good thing Sammy had your back, because clearly your other friends did not, as we saw in the video. Guess now you know who your real friends are, huh? I mean, I guess so. You live and you learn. That's what all the bitches say when they get beat up. Girl, please, speak for yourself. I'm tired of you for real. Like, I already beat you up like three times, so settle down. Girl, I thought you didn't know who I was. Yeah, you're right, because after I beat your ass up after the show, you was forgotten, now bitch. this, you're so bothered. Like, But wait, up. because a little birdie did tell me you guys had an encounter after the show. Because bitches was talking a lot of shit online, so me and Sammy pulled up. Simple. This is why they're real quiet right now. That's exactly why. For those of you who don't know, after the show ended, a live video went viral, showcasing a fight between Eve and A and Kitty, as well as Sammy and Tiffany. Let's take a look. Wow. 
Wow. That is the definition of catch me outside. They were doing a lot of shit talking online, so they got what they had coming. They already schemed like little bitches to get me kicked out of the house, so eye for an eye, bitch. We were the realest bitches in that house. These other bitches, I don't know what type of shit they were on. Tiffany and even they are on some scheming shit. Susie is a hoe and a fake bitch. Desiree's a dumb, messy bitch. And Nikki is a slimy-ass alcoholic that steals people's shit. You want to steal my f***ing necklace and lie about it? Get f***ed up again. Y'all oh, is crazy. You too. lucky I don't f***ing murder you, you stupid you bitch. This way you never get your necklace back, you dumb Security. bitch. I stole that shit, you crusty ass hoe. You get these hoes. You're fully lucky the cameras are around. Up, That's Sammy, all I'm I never liked your bitch ass anyway. You think you're so tough, but you're a weak ass I bitch. I don't condone violence, but I would beat your ass too, Nikki. Just saying. Y'all gotta chill. Can y'all calm it down for the sake of the show, please? We gotta get through the rest of this. I'm good. She got her ass beat and that's it. I'm not about to be on no petty shit. I'm not about to be on no petty shit. Okay. Wow. All right. So, Nikki, you and Sammy have had this weird tension in the house as well. And it escalated towards the end. Explain that. I mean, Sammy came in the house acting like this tough bitch from Brooklyn. Bitch, you are always a f mess on the show starting like, shit. just shut the f up. It was like she came in trying to intimidate what me. What the f are no you talking reason. about? If you're gonna talk shit, come with the receipts. Sammy, last time I checked, I apologized to you on the first night and it was you who refused to accept my apology. So what are you talking about? You simply never liked me. Just say that. Bitch, I try to be f patient with you. You kept acting like a f drunk mess and kept starting shit with me. You talk shit in the confessionals. You were hella fake. And it wasn't until Kitty left where you started showing your true colors since I was by myself. So I'm not even trying to hear all of that. Bitch, you stole my necklace, the one that my dad gave me. Then you had the audacity to talk shit on his death? F*** is you talking about? Yeah, that shit ain't cool at all. Like, that's some really low shit. You shouldn't even be touching people's stuff. All right. So let's take a moment before things get more intense and take a look back at Sammy and Nikki's history. You're acting mad childish, like for real. What? I just don't get it. <laughs> I didn't mean to laugh at Desiree, but it just came out. I mean, why the f are you on the show if you're a f***ing Christian? Sorry about earlier. I just want us to be a good Don't apologize to me. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to Desiree. I'm trying to be nice and you're acting all crazy. Because I don't f with you. Sammy is batshit crazy. Like, I genuinely tried to apologize and she turned into a whole argument. Nikki, you're, you're drunk. Bit. Nikki, you're drunk. And you Nikki, you're bit. drunk. Nikki, Nikki, you're drunk. No, I ain't Get this bitch you out my face, bro. Bitch. Get her out. Get you her talk all out. That shit. Get her out my Black face. Ass bitch. Nikki is really trying to bring me out, and she's testing my patience. The news about her father is sad and all, but I'm glad Sammy's leaving. I need help. Honestly, Sammy, do what you want to do. I already seen how shit can get in the house. Wow. Look at this. This shit is nice. Well... It's mine now. F her. Y'all bitches could have sold anything, but y'all took the necklace my dad gave me before he died? Are you kidding me? Are y'all serious right now? No one gives a f about your dead dad's necklace. Just shut the f up. has a death wish, period. Now, Nikki, why would you even think to steal Sammy's necklace? I felt like it. It was nice, and I definitely made money off of it, so... Wow! You asked me the question, and I'm being honest. 
And to be fair, none of this was even my idea. None of this would have happened if it weren't for Tiffany and even A. Plastic deflective move. First of all, okay. don't even do that because we never told you to steal her shit. So don't even do that. Nikki, you clearly want someone to blame. Don't even give me that shit because you guys didn't even have my back when shit went south. Why didn't you guys back her up or at least tell Sammy who did it? Because what Nikki does is none of our business. Again, no one told her to do that. She did that of her own free will. But you all still trashed her room, though. And it was your idea, Tiffany. Yeah, but she was more upset at the necklace than anything else. So why am I going to get involved? You already got me involved when you brought the idea to me. Now all of a sudden you didn't want to get involved? Bullshit. Mm, smells like f***y right now. Because not going to lie, that's how you and even they were acting. No shit. It's not even about that. Why are we going to take the fall for someone else's actions? Like we're not exactly. doing that. Exactly. Again, no one told Nikki to steal her shit. So why didn't you tell Sammy who stole her necklace? Like Tiffany said, we weren't trying to get involved. And I clearly got what I wanted, which was her out of the house. So it didn't even matter to me. At the end of the day, we were never f***ing friends with Nikki and she knew this. So I don't know why she's trying to play the f***ing blame this game. This is very true. But at the end of the day, Sammy's father passing away on the show was a big highlight and for sure brought on the waterworks. To have something so near and dear to her stolen over petty beef isn't cool. My condolences to you and your family, Sammy. Thank you. Thank you. Nikki, I also know you've had some problems in your past that's made you who you are today. But hopefully you can truly learn from this, for real. I mean, I'm not proud of it, but she pissed me off and I just didn't care anymore. I was just like, F it, but I could see how I could be a bit impulsive. Impulsive is definitely the word. <laughs> Speaking of that, you got drink a lot on the show. Do you consider yourself an alcoholic or no? Because you for sure had your moments. <laughs> Again, the fans want to know. I mean, I just like to have a good time. You can without drinking so much. Some people felt your drinking was excessive to the point where it clashed a lot with the show. I guess you could say it runs in the family. I'm not proud of it, but like, that's all I know. Are you actively doing anything to change that or are you still turning up? Baby steps, girl. Goddamn. <laughs> I mean, I'm just asking because the people want to know. Just know I started going to therapy, so there's that. I'm not trying to say too much on here. Oh, good. Wow, that's great news. I'm proud of you. It takes a lot of strength to do that, so more power to you. So with all of that being said, and knowing how you girls are, I have one question for you. Would you choose to be on Simmer City again? I'm not going to lie to you. As crazy as this shit was, I would do it again. Because, I mean, why the f*** not? I beat up bitches every day at the club. Might as well get paid extra for it. Susie, would you do it all over again? I mean, I feel like this show has 100% made me stronger to deal with bullshit like this. So, honestly, I would def do it again. Yeah, I agree with Susie. I would def do it again. It's like a free party with free drinks, so why the f*** not? Would you do things differently? I mean, right now, at this moment, no. But only time will tell. Even a Tiffany, what about you, girls? Honestly, I'm at a point where I'd rather have my own TV show than to be in a situation like that again. I agree with Even a. I'd rather have my own show promoting my businesses. So will I want to be on TV again? Absolutely. Would I do the show again? No. I wouldn't do any of this again. Desiree, you wouldn't? For real? No. That's fair. I feel that on all ends. Chris, how about you? I know your time was right. too short. Right, exactly. I def do this shit again. I'm here for all of it. The parties, the drinks, the tea. All of it, Ooh, honestly. Ooh, don't let your girlfriend hear that. <laughs> She'll be all right. Sammy, you better say you'll do it again. The fans love you. I'm sorry, but nah, I'm good. Never again. Damn, for real. I'm dead serious. Okay, I respect it. Well, all in all, I think it turned out to be a pretty good reunion. We were able to get to the bottom of a lot of issues. Some words were exchanged. Some blood was shed. And there was even a random pop-up. But it's about time we wrap this reunion up. I've had a blast reliving the drama and getting the answers to the questions we all wanted to know. 
Thank you all for coming out and remember to be a boss ass bitch to season one. You thought shit was sweet, what bitch? Sandy, no! You're f- dead, bitch. Dead. I told you that you got a f- death wish. Sleep with one Sammy, eye open chill. tonight, bitch. You Don't better pray. Your life over here. All of that, kitty. I'm ready to go to jail at this point. I already told this bitch that I'm not the one to play with. They really think it's what a the gang. What the did y'all bitches really just get me into? Did this shit just become a f- crime scene? <laughs> nah. Mm -mm. I don't get paid enough for this nah, shit. Nah, y'all bitches is really wild for this. I need to get the f up out of here. What the f is my Uber? Thank you.